Hi guys, today we are doing a video all about rough sex. We're covering all of the basics, consent, and we are doing this video, of course, with Vegucated. So rough sex for me is something that I really love to do, but I think there is such a common misconception with the fact that rough sex is leather, whips, getting tied up, getting demeaned, and it definitely can be all of that, but it doesn't automatically equal sadism or masochism. You don't have to necessarily be restrained or degraded or be the one who's doing the degradation. Like there are nuances to rough sex. Sex is so much fun, right? You can create the vibe that you want. You can create the fantasy that you want. You can have this whole sexual alter ego that does things that normal you would never want to do, but done in a safe, consensual, sane way is incredible. The main thing here is to go slow and to communicate and find your boundaries. Automatically, if you're trying something new, whether it's like, I want to get choked or I want to play a scene out, you don't necessarily from the get without experiencing it, know what your boundaries are going to be. And that's where things like safe words or actions come into play. So for me, if I'm ever having some, any kind of sex really with anybody, I communicate that my safe word is Eros, that we can check in using colors, red, yellow, green, or if your mouth is occupied and you can't speak, you can tap, you can have like a squeezy ball, you can kind of do whatever you need to do to show the other person that you're reaching or have reached a limit. I think another important thing to realize is that this is just like anything to do with sex ever, just because it's rougher or because you said before that in this scene, like you don't want to stop, you can still stop at any time. Even if that's in a like consensual non-consent way where maybe the word stop isn't your safe word, but you have to always have a safe word in place and you can stop at any time. If the mood shifts, if something that you discussed already and you thought you would be comfortable with, turns out you aren't, stop. Truly really whether you're a sub or a dom or if you're somebody who's being dominated or who's doing the dominating, if you're a top or a bottom, you still need to educate yourself on your limits and your partner's limits. Rough sex is almost more connecting because you have to be so aware of the other person and their body language and how they're feeling comfortability wise. And I feel like there's so many people in the whole like rough sex BDSM space who just want to abuse somebody. So they use this as their way to do that. But a safe, sane and consensual relationship that involves rough sex cares about boundaries and about safe words and about comfort level above everything else. Okay, so before we get into the five parts of rough sex that I will be talking about today, there are so many more. I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Vegucated. So if you guys don't know what Vegucated is, it is essentially this hub for everything that you need, whether it's relationships, sex, discovering yourself, online dating, and all of these courses are taught by world-renowned experts in their fields. So like I watched the class on rough sex and there were so many good tips and it's all just like, broken down in this really humanizing, inclusive way, and you can learn all of these things in the safety and comfort of your own home. I also have a coupon code YOUNGING and you can get 40% off of a year-long subscription. You can also try all of the courses for one day free. You can cancel at any time and get your money back. And they also have a 14-day money-back guarantee as well, so there's no risk to signing up at all. So I will leave the link down below, try out any of the 100 plus courses that they have, and let us continue with the video. So we are gonna go over over choking, dirty talk, restraints, spanking, and aftercare. So let's start off with choking. Okay, so when it comes to choking, this is one of my personal favorite things. I don't want to tell you how many times I have had somebody just like push right here. And when you're choking, like you can hear how this is changing my voice. You don't want to push at the front. You want to squeeze at the sides. Truly, for me personally, just the act of having a hand here doesn't have to be any pressure, it can just be put right here. I love that. It's like the act of the dominant, you know? Like, you're not doing anything, but you could. What you're doing is you're squeezing on the sides right here just a little bit to slow the blood flow, and you're doing this 10 seconds maximum. You're just slowing the blood flow so you get that kind of like head high, and this is done with somebody that you trust. You have to also keep in mind the state that you and your partner are in. Are you high? Are you drunk? Are you sober? And this is especially where you have like hand signals or squeaky toy in case you need to get out of this scene. 
just gentle pressure on the sides or you can even and this is something that they covered in the vegetated thing just have your hands under the jaw so there is control of the neck but there's no pressure there's no squeezing but it's still that kind of like active domination spanking I am a fan of spanking also all right we love to see it I am personally a fan of slow slightly stronger build up spanks if somebody is doing it while we're in doggy style and it's just like here's one here's the other cool but if it's like an actual like i'm gonna give you a spanking thing slow and then you keep your hand here and you rub it because that's going to release the pressure it's also kind of like when you're getting waxed right like somebody pulls a strip and then they apply pressure that's the same sort of thing with spanking you slap and you apply pressure and you rub dirty talk we have done a whole video on dirty talk i will link it down below but essentially what we're going to look for is how these things make your partner feel you have to have these kinds of conversations beforehand what are words that are off limits what are things that really turn you on how does me saying this make you feel those are important conversations because what some girl may deem as like super sexy and sweet the other person could be like i've never been more icked out in my life don't ever say that to me again and the same thing goes with spanking the same thing goes with choking the same thing goes with everything just talk about it and it doesn't have to be a sit down business proposal like it was in fucking 50 shades of gray where they're just across the tables with their paperwork it can be a conversation where you're sitting with wine on the couch and you're like I don't know, I really like dirty talk. Like I like when people call me a bad girl and they spank me a little bit. What do you like? Having these conversations can be foreplay in itself. Let's talk about restraints now. Cuffs are huge. I personally don't fuck with ropes. I also personally don't fuck with like bondage tape because it's just too much. It's messy, it's a lot of waste. Like I don't wanna deal with it. I want cuffs. Cuffs that you could put around your wrists, cuffs that you can then tie up to a bed, cuffs that you can like spread yourself with, whatever, but they are gentle and they are Velcro and they are easy to get out of after care. This is vital for any kind of sex, right? After you have sex, you cuddle or you fall asleep or they get you water. When there is a rougher scene that might take an emotional toll or a rougher scene that maybe gets you into like a sexual alter ego, a lot of the times you might need to have a debrief session. How it was, how do you feel, how does your body feel? Like, is there anything that you want to talk about? Anything that you want to change? Or do you just want to cuddle? Or do you just want to do something normal, like order food and watch a movie? Aftercare can look like whatever it looks like for you, but it's just kind of reconnecting and building that bond after sex and making sure that everyone feels seen and heard. Regardless, afterwards, I want to be snuggled. I want someone to bring me water. But that is it. If you guys want to learn more about rough sex or choking or restraints, all of these things are broken down more on Beducated for you and the coupon code is there for you guys to save some money so check it out and I will see you all very soon let me know what you want to see next for the educated video coming up next month in the comments down below because there's so many things to choose from and I will see you all very soon bye guys